some time since I've posted a video. I've not been able to do any crafting since um, probably March or April this year so hopefully I'll be able to get back into the swing of it in the new year. And it is a design team project for Medieval Mirage. So I used in this are Vintage Garden, Pale Peach Roses and Victorian Ladies. So it's a Victorian ladies and a flower theme, I guess you could say. She started off, she started off as many of my books do, she started off one way and ended up another. She's got a huge crocodile mouth, as you can see. Um, I'll show you the back, actually, as you'll see. Underneath, she started as a hand-painted hardback. And she's actually stenciled under here at the front. So she started off in this lovely pale greeny colour to pick up the papers I'll show you in a minute from Medieval, in fact I'll show you now from Medieval Mirage. So this is one of the backing papers from Medieval Mirage and as you can see I think it just goes beautifully with the colour of the book. And it just didn't work for me though, the look that I was looking for as the book progressed. So I, what I ended up doing was, this is the back of the book, I embellished it with a little a metal flower that I had, metal piece that I just love. I've used um, layers of calico, um, a bit of lace and then the flower. She's got a large eyelet to close here and I've used satin ribbon and then satin ribbon and just a brass coloured um, bulldog clip and I've used a key with another piece of ribbon to attach that because she's there and this is so easy to um, adjust. You just open it up with the ribbon. I won't open it all the way up. You open up the ribbon and then I've, I've left it so that you can just adjust it. There's plenty of ribbon on there to make it the way you want, to make it any length you want, sorry, not the way you want, but any length you want. So if you want to take the ephemera out and reduce the bulk, then you can tighten her. I'll just clip that and put it to the back of the book just now so we can look. So the front, I'm paranoid about getting out of frame because I'm terrible at doing that. So at the back you can see different coloured ribbons and I've used the ribbons, the same binding that I've used for the ribbons. It's a, a lovely deep rose and creams and some pale pale lemon. Um, and it was to pick up, I had this piece of applique and moustache for a long time. It was an old, I can't remember if it was, if it was really old bed linen. Um, I'd cut, but I had it. So what I did was I used, I've got, I can't really tell you how many pieces of um, lace, uh, crocheted lace, old lace that are under here. This dark lace here, that's very, very old. Um, that's, I'll try actually at the end of the video, I'll put, I know I'll put an extra bit of footage in if I, if I don't talk too much. Um, and I'll show you my box with one of the boxes that I have with really old, old lace. So that's not been tea stained or dyed, that's just age in that lace. So I've put a piece of that in there. Um, and then what I decided to do was I hand stitched some of these. I don't know if you can see if it picks up little gold beads. I just put some seeds. I just um, hand stitched just a few. And I had some lightweight. These are just lightweight keys. Um, they're just lightweight jewellery. They're not heavyweight real metal and I've attached the one there because I thought they looked really cute. Um, various trims, another piece of gold trim here, another piece of applique that I had a moustache, that's an old old piece here of lace. Just different, I mean I can't tell you how many pieces of lace I've put on there. Another full piece down the spine. And then on here, what I did was I made a tassel on a hoop as I wanted to keep it as light as possible so that if you want the book without anything, just like that, I've left it. I didn't want to damage the spine or put too much weight on it. So all of this is extremely light and it's held on with one um, pin. That's all. And to keep it light, I covered a, I just covered um, one of those metal hoops that you get, made a tassel, 
didn't put any jewellery or adornments on it to keep it light. Then attached that, used some of the eyelash trim, some of the matching ribbon that I've used in the binding, and I just think that gives a nice finish if you like that look. If you don't, as I say, it's easy enough to take the pin off and it's not damaged the spine of the book. So when we look at the book, there's various charms, but I can talk that through. So I will whiz through as quickly as I can. Now, this, this was actually, I made this to go in the front pocket. But as you can see, she is so full. But I'm still going to include this with the book because I used before. Um, layers of lace trimming at the edge, sewn all round. It's parchment paper. That's some paper that I had discoloured with um, different glimmer mists. That folds out. Different papers. Little bag. I think it just makes a lovely little notebook. I've just used some embroidery thread so that it makes it easy enough for you to change. And then to close, I've used just a ribbon and it ties round. Easy peasy. Sorry I'm off camera just doing this. So, that, as I say, was to go in there to coordinate, but doesn't fit, but it's still coming with the book. So, the first page, these papers are just, I fell in love with these papers, um, they're beautiful. So this is the, the Vintage Garden Kit, and this is what inspired the book and why I painted the book the colours that I did. So in the pocket, again, that's a piece of the applique that was in the front. I've made a pocket, and there's a little charm, and it says, every journey, every journey starts with one step. There's some lace trim down here. And this started life as a large tag. There's several, um, there's quite a, a lot of tags in here. So there's six extra, extra large tags. What I've done here is I've stenciled a rose to pick up the theme. There's some lace. I've made it a pocket. And this is just some pictures from Pinterest. And that's for flowers that bloom out of feet. It's a lovely saying. Lovely thoughts poem. Emerson. And this one I've made a pocket here, and it's not, it's actually a flip down, hidden top, and you can write a little message. And I just made that gold flower, painted it. And that's what I mean, that's from another kit. It's just that I had a moustache, again, in moustache, and another tag. Plain coffee dyed paper, and again that was in moustache. Because I've got a bit of the shakes, I'm not going to put you through watching me put them all away. So every um, signature has got two layers of different lace. There's crocheted lace in one and there's lace in the other. And I have tried to put them together so they are quite firm because they were quite loose and floppy. The crochet lace tends to um, fray. So if you wonder why that I've glued them and made sure they're double stitched, that's why. The first pocket, the next page has got, I don't know if you can see, I've made a vellum pocket, or an, ac sorry, an acetate pocket, and I liked this butterfly effect, just with this, and then you can see, this is the coffee dyed paper from one of the other kits that I really, really like, and then I made another envelope and I've just used another paper from one of the other kits that I will be putting a link to just that I had a moustache stamped and then I've just made some it's just paper I've cut into tags plenty of place to journal in this book plenty tied it together with some ribbon or seam binding sorry and there's seam binding that just goes over the top and ties it together. Gosh, I'm out of practice. I'm so sorry. You'll need to excuse all my fumbling. I just so wanted to get this out because it's been so long in the making. So that goes in there. And then on this page, I 
on this page there's some ribbon and I just put two little flowers on the lace with the ribbon through it and then it flips and there's a hidden space to right there and then this flips open and it's tea dyed, tea dyed paper and I've stitched around there and that just gives a nice tuck spot and another tuck spot because I've left that open so that you can tuck. That's a medieval, a medieval book, flower book that I've used here. And this is the first of the large tags that I was talking about. And I've used one of my favourite pictures from the internet, the Victorian times. And I've used the dark rose trim. And it, it can take a 4 by 6 if I remember right. Yeah, because it's 4.5 by 7. So it can take a full size picture if you want. And you can write some if you want a memory on there. That's why I did it that size. And I think there's, as I said, I think there's six of these in the book. So I'll try and lose through the rest. Then on this side, there's another large tag. This one I just made with bits and pieces, a piece from an Edith Holden book. I used some trim, music sheet, lace, and again, another good size for a photograph or for journaling. I've used a double pocket, again, pieces from my stash from Medieval Mirage, a previous kit. Just some ephemera from Pinterest. And that's just been put onto um, an index, as you can see. I'm sorry, ledger paper and I've stitched around it. And I did some tea staining of some tracing paper. And there's... Two. I always like to put in a double, what are they call doilies, and it's got a little saying on there with the flowers so that you can put a message. I like doing doubles so that you can put a message in between and it's hidden. And you just hold in, you just hold in. And it says me because I actually started this in February. And there's one of the postcards that's got the sprays that I did with um, the Glimmer Mists. I thought the colours went really well with this book. And I just used some of the glittery washi. I think that goes really nice. Put a little butterfly. I thought it went nicely with the colours. Stitched around an index card. And then this is some parchment paper. And that's actually, it was half a butterfly. It was actually half a butterfly wing. It's embossed. But I just liked the, the colours and the look of it on top of that doily with some lace. And on this side, I just used some floral fabric tape that I had. The centre of every signature has got an envelope that I made with a needed holding page. So they've all been stitched. The front of them, I've just done a collage. It's slightly different in each one. Um, and then inside... That's one of the journaling cards from the Pale Peach Roses kit. I just love it. I think the images are beautiful. And it's just got little perils down there, this one. And the back, I love the picture of you to hold in. Then just a tag, large tag stitched out. And then again, and I can't remember, there's at least six altered paper clips in the book. This one's just got little flowers and I've just dyed them and put gems and it's holding both of those and this is another large, just a journaling card I've left or again I'll take a picture, another butterfly at the bottom this time, again the other paper bag and I've put a journaling card in there, again that's the double a piece of fabric and I've just done some stitching, gold trim and this is, a, I've done a pockets, multiple pockets on this one, I'll just pull them all out you'll see. So there's a glassine bag and I have tea dyed it then done some stamping and behind it there's a tag. So and I've done it that way. This is from my stash and it's from one of the other kits from Medieval Mirage that I had. And that's what I mean about it being so versatile. I just think it makes a lovely piece of note paper for any kit. 
for any book, sorry, or any journal, and it's it's lovely there. Again, coordinates just well with anything. That's from my stash, and it fits nicely into the glassine bag. And I thought I had something else. Maybe not. One, two. Again, that's the back of the medieval book. Another, now this is the Victorian ladies set. How pretty is she? Lovely. I love the artwork. And she's on coffee dyed paper, or sorry, tea dyed paper. This will flower. I've used doubled oily. And I put another large to do John Allen card at the back. So I think you can see there's loads, you can take lots out and there's loads of place to journal. There's a guest check in this one, I didn't put another one here because it was getting too bulky. Oh I did actually, I thought I'd taken it out because I thought it was getting bulky. And that's a piece of just Victorian ephemera. How they set their tables, gosh, can you imagine? And then this is a little charm, little bird silver coloured and this has got a tab pull I love that it's a click it's magnetic and there is a it's a slight tuck I haven't put anything in there because she was bulky enough I mean you could I suppose at first glance it looks like a tag because she is but when you open it up there's a place for hidden writing and one of these little journaling cards there's another journaling card and I've put it somewhere, that's what it is, but I'll find it. So this is the second one of these. And I've just used a background from one of Jar's kits and I've cut it down. And I also resized the, I just, that is from, gosh, the Victorian ladies, I just cut it into a tag. It slips in behind there lace. Look how lovely the images are. They're just beautiful. Pocket and I've just done a little bit of collage here. Lace, fabric, button, lace. And yeah, there's a tag. And this is really thick place to write. All of these backing papers that I've put behind, these are all from Jar, um, from Medieval Mirage, Jar's design. All of them are her backing papers or her um, tea stained designs. This is an altered paper clip and what there is, what she does lovely is I love all the sayings and I will put a link for the sayings that I've used um, and I've put it on and made a, an altered paper clip. So I've used that one here. And again, it's holding in place the next large tag. Oops. And this one does have room if you wish to put something else in there. But again, just because it's getting bulky, I really had to leave it. And then in the back, I'll put the ruler there. I've just done Think Happy Thoughts. Again, this is from another kit. And I've just got it in some tea bag and some lint. And then it opens up at the front. And I've just left it for your own use. You can either put paper there, you can use a gold pen, a colour pen. Um, I just thought it gave a nice piece of journaling space and it's quite sturdy because it's craft paper. And I like how it looks there. Nobody would think it was there. Your double doily. And then on this side, there's a little pool. And that's another one of those little journaling cards all stitched round. And I don't know if you can see here if the light's good enough, but I have put a shine on and embossed the glassine bag. And then inside... But there's another one of the journaling cards from the Pale Peach Roses. Isn't that beautiful? In fact, I think I put two. I'll try that later. 
This is stitched onto the page and it's just a place to hide any writing. I stitched that one down. I thought that was really sweet. The Edith Holden Centre, just a different collage. I love this, the colours in this one. Again, some of the trim that I've used on the book, just to pull it all together. This is a little envelope, and in here I have put this, these, I wonder if this tasks. Um, there's some that say remember, I think. Important journal, remember, yep, an extra. Thought it went really nicely on this page and with those tickets, and it's simply happy. And then just to pull it together to bring it back in a little bit, I've put some old ledger paper at the back for notes. And I stamped a Tiffany & Co stamp with a Tiffany & Co tag. And I put some lines at the back for you to write. Another of the large, look at that, waste, gosh. And other of those large tags with a large tag at the back. All stitched, all tea dye paper. And I just resized one of the large pages them down. I think I put four in a page instead of using it as um, two in a page. So that I could make a tag just to fit in there. Again, thing, another little charm and it's a little bead just with some spacers, quite shiny. The images are beautiful. I love this kit. Tag that says stay strong. And this is an altered envelope. It's got some um, music sheets here. And the way I did it was I didn't put a ribbon. I wanted that to be hidden. It's a tag. And I've put the design so that you can see it through the window. And if you don't have anything in there, you'll see the music sheet behind. But that's so that you can see the flowers through the window. And this little pool has got another little journaling card but it's also got a pocket if you want another tab and then another I put one of the printed one of the sheets onto the vellum and I thought it turned out lovely another just tea dyed paper stitched round and I just made a pocket some tea dyed paper and some of the music sheet to tie it all together another large tag some ribbon piece of Victorian ephemera let's put a bow with some material you'll see why I use this material later on pocket tuck and just some paper I put notes did some stamping and this is the next little booklet. Uh, well, it's not a booklet, but it says follow your heart. There's a little heart here peeking through where I've punched a hole. And it's just, it's quite sturdy. And at the back, I've just put a little tag. And I've used one of those little tags. And this one says hope. So you can take this out and use this separate from the book. Now the centre signature in the centre of this signature is different. This is the only one that's not got an Edith Holden. Um, I used a smaller version of the, sh the a smaller version of the main sheets. Made them yeah smaller to make a pocket, and then I just used ribbon as a closure. And then in there, I put. Victorian ephemera. This is a hotel menu. And this is how to wear, I think it's corsets. Another lovely image from the kit. And another, now this one, I don't know if you can see it, it's got a shine and it feels different. It's, I like the feeling of it. I painted it with um, the puzzle, what's it called? 
it's the it's to seal it. I've painted it with a sealer and it gives it a really nice grungy feel. You'll you'll see what I mean if you purchase the book. Now this one's actually an altered paper clip, so this one you can move anywhere in the book. So underneath I have another from the image from the kit and at the back another large tag. And if I take the paper clip off, then you can see I love this trim. I just thought it went just so well. So easy to put on and off. But I will attach it later. And then just a piece of little paper that I had in my stash. Another from the book. From, another from the kit. Just made a little tuck down here. Just collage from things. And this, um, I actually had made this a shaker and then I just had to flatten it because it was too much. And I just really thought it was cute. I never attached it. You can put a message at the back. You can punch a hole in it and actually use it as a little keyring or a, an attachment at the front. And that's an image that matches the other images in the book that I've used. And I just thought it was, I thought it turned out bonny. I really, really like it. So I'll put it in there. And that flips out for more journaling. Here I used a full, so there's a full pocket in the front, full tag. It's all stitched round. And then there's a full pocket at the back. And one of the other from the kit, Victorian ladies. It's the vellum page. And then here I've made another pocket, journaling card, some lace, just some trim. How lovely is that? That's from the kit. And this is just some, that was actually a bookmark that I got through the post and I made it into a tag. And this is baking paper and a doily. I just like the sound of it. And a little heart. Beautiful paper. And double tuck. So Edith Holden page. A little envelope. Use some grunge up music sheet. Little tag in the front. Nice tag behind. I'll do it later. And then another large floral tag. Then another bag. Another. And then this one. I just made a pocket. Um, I don't know if you can see. I did use some glitter, not glitter. Um, can't remember. Ugh, my brain's dead. Another little, and this one I thought would be nice just to put a little charm, and it says belief. So it just dangles there, and it's easy to grab. Stickles. I use stickles. <gasps> oh. Centre again. A different envelope. Another lady. The back with some more lace. Some more lace. And this one, I used a CD case and it flips up. And then I've left this so that it's got a heading and writing spot. Just did stamping, etc. And then if you pull down on the eyelash trim, that's the front panel that you see. But I've left some. I just put two sheets, tea dyed paper for writing, and nobody would know they're there. And that lies quite flat. Another altered paper clip. I wanted to do the gold with the green to tie in with the rest of the kit. And this one says love. And it's another one of those flip down places for you to do your own writing. And 
he's holding. And then this one, I used a coin or a wage envelope because they hold them here in the UK. And I just did some stamping, some lace that is embossed and I did put some gold on there. Tag, or a, you know, space to journal. A small journaling card, like the last one. Small version from the kit. And inside I put some grunged up paper. I'm never sure if this is bigger or smaller. There's some lace. And then this, now, what I decided to do with this back page was, I needed so you can put a post-it note or if you want to stick anything on there. There's a piece of ephemera, I've made it a pocket. And I've tried to do it in such a way that it fits in, because that was the original design underneath. And then behind it is a full-size tag. And there's some lovely lace. So there's a pocket and a pocket. And there's a lamination on the top. Lovely images again. And this one has the little bobble, and I thought the glitter that was in there, or the little beads, or whatever, I thought they went well with the colours. And then on this one, this again, this is, uh, I'm sorry, I can't remember, this, was, this wasn't this was my idea, I saw a lady do this and I thought it was genius and I'm so sorry because it was, um, I can't remember who it was, so if you're watching or if somebody knows who it was, if they let me know, I will give credit down below, because um, she had this brilliant idea, this is... A tracing or baking paper or tracing paper with a doily and I just love it so you can write on it it gives a hidden writing space I love the sound of it and then behind it I've got a pocket and that's one of my favourite images actually that's from the kit and then notes I cut that down that's from one of the and the stash, that's from one of the other kits, that's from the stash. And then here I've done a floating, floating pocket really. So it opens up here. I've used um, background paper from Medieval Mirage. I've put one of the cards from the kit. I just love it in there. A tag at the front. This on here, this is stamping that I've put on top of the paper. Made a little tag, and then in here is a pocket, and I've put a small piece of journaling paper. It's pedalized card. It's got a nice sheen, and I made that a floating pocket, and it's held on there with another altered paper clip, and that's what. What tree did you fall from? <laughs> and this paper clip is the button and some trim and eyelash trim and I'll do that later. And then this one, I did a side pocket with the same kind of half butterfly theme and I did do some gold highlighting in between in the kit and just a card from a stash. Some more vellum, this flips out. Pocket in the centre. Again, some ephemera from the kit. And this one's been done, I don't know if you can see this, if it's got a shine, if you're going to pick it up. The light's not great. That's why I think I've sealed three of them in that coating. And then this, I decided to try and do something different here too. The back, I've got letter writing rules for Victorian ladies and it's on tea dyed paper as you can see. And then this started, I think this started as a, an envelope. So in the pocket, I put a flower and I just thought that looked really nice and it picked up 
the theme of the book really well and I just made it a double pocket and there's a little I think this is a third booklet so there's some here and a little tag here with some lace and it fits really well in there with the film at the back so this is probably why she's chunky and I'm sure you can take it out and make it a, a lot more usable if that's what you would like to write her on um, another favourite picture of mine and you can see I've used a a file for this one stitch round then another altered paper clip another piece of ephemera and that's this paper clip just it was in a burlap flower I've just painted it gold just to fit in with the theme a bit better and double pocket again with the music sheet and I've used paper from my stash just to make another note with and I'm sorry I've still got the shakes a Victorian um, school rules and this is an envelope that I made with some of the paper and one of the sayings from one of the kits write with your heart I really like that and I just made a little notebook to put inside that I must link the the sheet with the it's got all the sayings on it because I use it a lot I really like it I love the sayings that Josh, that Josh used I'll do that later and then in the back oh I've not put my wee stick I've got a not stick I've got a flower to put there I'll do that before she goes I've purposely not put ribbons in the back page because she was too bulky and you'll see why when I turn the page um, I've put some loose fabric here I thought that was just nice you can write underneath it but I just like the texture of it there's staggered envelopes that I've done in many of my other books that I like so there's a large tag, another good size tag, and then the smaller one. And then each envelope has got I'm not gonna be able to get it out now I'm on camera, am I? It's partly because I'm not. So each each one has got one of these. I'm not going to struggle with the bottom one, but it has. And that's going to have a piece. I will put a shot in the actual advert for the... I will put a shot in my XC shot showing what's going to go in there. Now, the reason I've not put any more embellishing is because of what I've got in the back page. So, I've put a tuck here. And there's a piece of paper just to journal with in the back page. And then... design team books that I do I do a laminated bookmark and this is the image that I chose for this book and it's just beautiful so it fits nicely in the back page and I also did a material envelope a cloth a material cloth envelope oh gosh and it's got a velcro closure closure and I just put two little journaling cards in there. So that's her. I will put everything else away <laughs> once we've finished. So I hope you like the book and thanks very much for watching. Bye.